Hi Libras, it is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising. It is also for those Librans out there that have a lot of Libra in their natal chart. So you've got a lot of planets in Libra, okay? Also, if this particular reading does not uh, particularly apply to you or make sense for you, please make sure to listen to your sun or your moon sign as well. This may give you just a little bit more information and fill in the blanks for you, okay? But normally, this resonates pretty, um, pretty accurately with, um, with the majority of people out there. All right, so here we go, Librans. What have we got going on? Well, this reading is for May and June, and we've got a lot of planetary alignments to get through, and we've also got a modified tarot reading to get through. So I'm going to get right on it really quick. Thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I truly do appreciate it, and I absolutely adore the beautiful comments that you leave me. And I do read all of them, but as most of you know, I am on hiatus, so I will not be answering any of the uh, comments uh, up until June 10th. After that, I will resume my normal operations, and I will do my comments at that time. But I do read all of them, even on hiatus. I'm going to be reading uh, the comments. All right, so let's get started, Libra. What have we got going on for your astrological alignments? Well, the sun is in Taurus, and the sun is in Gemini. So uh, for the month of May, Taurus. For the month of June, Gemini. Uh, we've got this going from your 8th house to your ninth house. So the illumination is on joint finances and intimacy. You are looking at how you are intimate in relationships. People are looking at how you are intimate in relationships with them. Okay, Joint finances are also getting a big focus here. Then when it moves into your ninth house, this goes into the house of higher education, spirituality, occult, foreign people, foreign lands. Um... People, politica, law, and legal issues. So there could be something getting illuminated or highlighted in this area of your life as well. Mercury is going retrograde in Taurus, and this is retrograde in your eighth house of intimacy and joint finances. So there is a redo, a reassessment of these areas of your life. So um, it is possible that you may get somebody that comes back from, um, from the past into your present. Uh, and it may be a talking point to discuss intimacy or lack thereof in that relationship with you uh, as you move forward and determine whether or not you want to move forward on that particular relationship again. This may be something where you simply just need to close the door on that area of your life. Venus is in Taurus, and then Venus will move into Gemini. So again, we've got the 8th house going to the ninth house. So the same aspects apply, but now Venus is here. With Venus in the 8th house, she brings love. She brings harmony. She brings small financial gain. So for some of you Librans out there, you might be um, getting a small financial gain from your significant other. They may be bringing in some other or different type of um, uh, revenue into the family. Okay, they may have got, they might have gotten a second job, something like that. So just be aware of that, uh, Libra. And so this is something that you could be going through, and it's it it may have something that has to do with beauty. So um, it could be something where if you're a Libra male and your wife is a a Taurus female, she could start selling Mary Kay or something like that, or she could start selling um, any uh, things of beauty, like doing trunk shows for for fabrics and um, you know fashion and stuff like that so uh, Venus always lends this uh, in this area so then it moves into your ninth house of foreign people foreign lands um, the occult spirituality um, higher education so there is a small financial gain so if some of you have gone back to school and now you're going back to work you are getting a raise because you have uh, went through a higher education and now you are seeing the benefits of that uh, particular education in your life and how it is affecting you financially. This could also be um, you having amorous feelings for someone of a different culture than you. 
you might be giving more harmony to those of a different culture and different culture can span in, in any way shape or form so for some of you Librans out there you may not be as judgmental about for example homosexual because what's happening here is Venus is coming in here and she's showing you love compassion and kindness and she's also showing you what it means to be in a relationship with love okay you're getting a different perspective on love and what that is and whether someone is of the same sex or someone is of you know a heterosexual type love is love okay so you're going through this transition right now um, Librans Mars is retrograde in your in your third house of Sag and it will be going back into Scorpio on the 28th of May and then it will go into the, your second house so here you have got Mars going retrograde in your house of siblings communication negotiations contracts short distance travel so you have Mars going retrograde here so everything in that area is going to slow down there's going to be less aggression okay then when she moves back or when he moves back into the uh, second house this is all about self-value this is all about um, the money you make from the company you work for the money you make from the business you own so if you've been told yeah I'm gonna give you a raise because of your higher education we can't start that until August because we've got a delay because we've got to get it through corporate and blah 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 it's not that it's not coming it's simply delayed so just be patient with this Librans okay this is what you need to do the other thing for some I'm just sensing for some of you Librans out there you are getting a wake-up call as it relates to what self-value really is in not only yourself but others as well so please comment if this is something that has affected you because I would love to know uh, especially with Mars here because it's almost like you get a reality check it's like you're always like pro Libra pro me and I'm right and everybody else is wrong and I'm balanced and da 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 it's like but something happens kind of out of the blue and it's like you reassess that perspective with Mars going retrograde so just be aware of that Jupiter is retrograde in Virgo and for you this is in your 12th house Jupiter is retrograde until May 10th Jupiter's slowing down and is about to go station and I am super happy about this because Jupiter is my ruler and I've got my ascendant ruler going retrograde my um, I think he's my traditional ruler going retrograde um, Neptune is about to go retrograde on the 14th of June I don't want any more ruler retrograde planets I want my planets to go direct and thank God Jupiter is going direct on May 10th so this is awesome so for you there is expansion in your 12th house activities 12th house of healing hospitals unconscious subconscious uh, psychic abilities Pisces clandestine affairs something is going on here Libras where you have this expansion of these particular areas of your life for most of you this is where there is an expansion of awareness in these areas of your life so just be aware, aware of that um, also justice because Jupiter is the planet of justice so if there's anything shady that's going on around you Jupiter going direct is going to make this known okay so just be aware of that Saturn is also going retrograde and this for you is in your third house this is all about communications siblings short distance travel contracts negotiations okay so in this particular area this is also about the neighborhood so in this particular area with Saturn going retrograde the foot is off the brake so things seem to be sm uh, flowing a lot smoother for some of you Librans out there as it relates to these areas of your life Uranus is in your seventh house of partnerships there's a lot of unexpected developments as it relates to your partnerships business partnerships romantic partnerships some things have gone up some things have gone down some things have just literally just dropped right out of your life and there is just no movement at all okay um, it is it's almost like you guys didn't even 
you didn't even say goodbye. It was just like you you both knew intuitively it was just time to go your separate ways and the communication stopped and everything just kind of went see ya you know <laughs> so um that could be uh, as it relates to business or romantic partnerships even friendships in this area neptune is going retrograde on june 14th and this is beautiful with neptune going retrograde although i will be affected negatively because my energy might go a little bit down but i'm pretty much down on the floor right now with all these retrograde planets so at least i'm fine with just neptune going retrograde but the good thing about neptune retrograde is that the rose colored glasses come off the illusion the veil of illusion is gone in this area of your life in your sixth house of your workaday duties of your health okay there is this illumination and clarity as it relates to what is it that you need to do to maximize your health so you can maximize your money at your work your day-to-day -day duties okay your um your reputation in the world you're really going to see you for who you really are Pluto is retrograde in your fourth house, and the fourth house is everything to do with home, family, who you are at a root level, the culture of your family, how you were brought up in your family, your actual physical domicile. All right, so what this means with Pluto going retrograde, there are internal changes going on within those particular areas of your life. About four to five months ago, it was happening to you. Now, since it's happened to you, you've integrated that action or that, that transformation. And now you're going within and seeing how can I utilize this to my advantage, but how can I be fair to everybody involved? This is something that you are actually looking into with Pluto going retrograde because there is a big transformation on the inside that you are going to reflect on the outside and it will affect other people. The new moon is on May 6th and June 4th, respectively. May 6th is Taurus, June 4th is Gemini. For you, this is going. This is a new moon in the 8th and a new moon in the 9th. On May 6th, on the um, new moon, you want to set your intentions for what it is you want in intimacy and joint finances. On June 4th, you want to set your new moon intentions for what you want as it relates to higher education, people, politica, law, legal activities, um, occult, okay, spirituality, that type of thing. You want to set your intentions for what you want, not for what you don't want. There is a full moon on May 21st and June, I believe, 26th, respectively, in Sag. Okay, both of these full moons are in Sag. Sag is getting lamb basted in the next two months. I mean, they're undergoing massive endings and beginnings and climaxes and, and you know, things coming to a head, things being illuminated that they were not aware of. Okay, so this is what's going on with Sag's right now. So as it relates to this area of your life, you have this in your third house of siblings, communication, negotiation, contracts, short distance travel. Okay, so just be aware with both of these in Sag, there's gonna be an optimistic layer to this, but if there's a Sag in your life, please make sure that you are prepared for all of the transformations and changes that they are going to be going through as it relates to these um, particular areas of their life as well. Okay, Librans, let's see what we've got going on for your reading. Now, I said this reading is going to be modified, and I will explain that to you as we go. So, what is going on for the Librans out there for general energies for May and June? General energies for Librans, May and June. General energies for Librans, May and June. Here's the general energy. What do we have going on for work life and financial life for the Librans? Work life and financial life work life financial life what do we have going on for emotional life and love life for the Librans emotional life and love life Whoa. 
emotional life and love life. What do we have going on for your general health? There's your general health. Now, this next card that I'm going to be pulling is the lesson. Gosh, these cards are popping out. Is the lesson that needs to be learned throughout these retrogrades. This is something that you need to address on a mental and uh, soul level for you to evolve past this uh, retrograde lesson period. Here it is. Okay. So, what do we have going on for your Archangel Guidance, uh, Librans? Archangel Guidance, Archangel Guidance. Here's your Archangel Guidance. What do we have going on for your spiritual advice, Libran? Spiritual advice. Here's your spiritual advice. What do we have going on for your challenge? Here is your challenge. All right, Librans, let's see what we've got going on for your general energies for the next two months of May and June. Librans, right now you are trying to stay on top of something. You're trying to stay on top of your finances. You're trying to stay on top at work. You're, you're trying to ward people off with a stick. You're trying to keep people at bay. Keep situations at bay so that you can take a step back. Look at things in a balanced way, in a justified way, and make a decision based on that information. There is a lot of communication, a lot of passionate communication, aggressive communication that is coming directly to you. It is important for you at the present time to keep your footing. And in order to keep your footing, you have got to organize your life in such a way that you can take things off your box and ensure that you are um, not that jack of all trades and master of none, okay? You really need to focus the next couple months. Okay, so what do we have going on for your uh, work life and financial life? Your work life and your financial life is the Page of Wands. This could be a Sag, this could be a Leo, this could be a an Aries, okay? This person or people are bringing money in to your uh, environment. This could be a boss. This could be a spouse. This could be a, um, you know, a friend that is giving you communication on try this endeavor, um, do this part-time job. Um, it's going to bring money in, okay? So you've got messages of passion and creativity as it relates to your finances. For some of you, you might be starting a brand new creative venture, but you've got to get on top of your finances right now and get a hold of an accountant to be able to determine what you can do as it relates to, excuse me, to this new business venture. For others of you out there, because this could also be kind of an entrepreneurial type of energy, but you're just right at the beginning stage, okay? So you've got to stop fighting with your own head, and you've got to get things down on paper, all right? There is good news as it relates to your finances. It's it's very, um, it's got growth. It's, it's right at the beginning stages, like I said, but there's growth there. It's coming in. It's beautiful. It's like a feather in your cap. Okay, so this is beautiful for the Librans out there. For some of you, as it relates to work, there might be somebody at work that is a Sag, an Aries, or a Leo that you are interested in. But the thing about it is, is that or this person is interested in you, they might be stalking you. Okay, I just want to let you know when you're trying to beat them off with a stick. Okay, just want to make you aware of that. For others of you, this might be you trying to keep other suitors away from the female or away from the male so you get a chance to show this person how much you care and how much you love them. Um, because this is an archetype, but it's probably somebody that is younger than you. So just be aware of that. And this might have you just a little bit uh, apprehensive about the situation for whatever reason. So um, overall, though, this is a really, really beautiful card. So it looks good for school. You know, you, 
It's tough, but you're staying on top, so that's good. Looks good for school, looks good for retirement, looks good for um, a loving, harmonious, and happy bond. You're trying to get on top of your budget, get on top of your finances, okay? Um, for others of you wanting to do a creative venture or a new entrepreneurial career, get your ducks in a row. This looks good, but you are going to have to battle some issues, uh, and it may be related to you not having the skill in certain areas of running a business so you may have to bring people in to consult. So what do we got going on, Librans, for your emotional life and love life? There we go. Emotional life and love life, you've got the two of cups. This is beautiful, okay? This person, this Sag, this Aries, or this um, Leo person may very well be a very good fit for you, even though you're apprehensive about it just give it time to work itself out okay for others of you out there you are proposing to somebody for others of you out there you are going into a business partnership together so this might be related to that entrepreneurial venture out there for um for others of you this is definite leo energy for sure um definitely because we've got the lion up here for some of you Librans out there, you might be in the health field. We've got the Caduceus as well. So this could be, um, you know, a, a fire sign that you are interested in at work. We'll see if there's any other archetypes here. P small percentage could be water sign. It's possible. Um, the duality water signs because there's two cups. It would be um, it would be Pisces. But um, but overall. Uh, Librans, this is looking this is looking really really good so you do have a partnership on the horizon if you're not with anybody right now you've got messages coming in of pretty soon here within the next two months for those of you that are married looking good you guys have a strong bond even though you know you're trying to stay on top of things you're you're in it to win it you're, you're you've got each other's back and that is really really beautiful you're supporting one another so that is really really nice um, for those of you that have no desire to be in a relationship, you do have a potential relationship coming to you whether you like it or not, or this could be business. So what do we have going on for your general health, Libra? Here's the Pisces, Libra. This is the hanged man. The hanged man is the archetype of Pisces because it is the uh, number... Th um, the number 12 which uh, makes three and Pisces is and rules the 12th house of uh, the zodiac um, houses okay and so when you add one and two together you get three and then you get March so it's probably a Pisces born in March but this Pisces is keeping you kind of in suspense for some reason um, uh, you may have told them that you wanted to marry them and they're just kind of like you know they're beating you off with a stick because they just something may have happened there may have been a message of passion a message of um of love or something like that or maybe just a passionate message that they took the wrong way and they've literally kind of been like i'm never going there again with that libra i'm never going there again you know it, it could have been something like you, sometimes Librans you tell people what you think they want to hear instead of just telling people how you feel and that can put you in a bad position because then people have the standard that they need to meet and so when it comes back around like later on in life and you're not meeting that standard they're gonna be like what the heck and then they're gonna call you on it and then you're gonna come back and then you are gonna reveal exactly how you feel and that you were just saying stuff because you were just saying it and this person's like you were bullshitting me about this was was a joke or, or was something to make me feel better but it's not even how you feel about me that could be what's going on with uh, some of you Librans out there so just please be prepared that um, you may give a message of passion, love, and, and um, wanting a new beginning and wanting to start this um, union 
with this uh, this Pisces and to a lesser degree probably the Leo then the Sag and then the Aries because Pisces is being ruled by the major arcana here so that they're gonna literally you know color this whole thing in the majority but either they're looking at things from a different perspective or you're looking at things from a different perspective Libras you may have realized I am really in love with that person. I'm really in love with that Leo. I'm really in love with that Pisces. I don't want to let them go. And I'm going to fight everybody else off until they're mine. And for whatever reason, uh, Libras, you might be fighting something off. Uh, you might have other distractions right now that don't give you an opportunity to spend with this um, with this Pisces for the majority of you or this Leo Aries or Sag for the others of you um, but you do have a new perspective right now and you are looking at this like I am not gonna let the best thing in my life go ever again okay as it relates to health this could be you having a back problem some of you have back issues um, others of you have got uh, massive migraine issues you get auras you know I mean obviously you get auras around the back here uh, as it relates to health so your health might be on a little bit um, on the on the slow down okay and I believe you did have in your health sector yeah you do have Neptune retrograde in your health sector so once Neptune or I'm sorry you you do have Neptune going direct in your health sector so you might be um, overly delusional about something that you want to achieve with your health you're not being very realistic once this once Neptune goes um, retrograde you're going to start looking at your health a little bit more uh, appropriately and taking um, appropriate measures to take care of yourself okay for a small percentage of you this Pisces has, has left you high and dry okay um, this Pisces has left you hanging so to speak for others of you you could have a Pisces at work or a um, Aries Leo or Sag that is um, it's almost like traitor energy there's been a traitor amongst you okay so please just be aware of that um, you could be the traitor you could be the scapegoat for this particular uh, person or you could make them the scapegoat that could be as well so what is the lesson that you need to learn through all of this Librans as you go through the next couple months Wow you've got the uh, eight of swords this is interesting uh, Gemini <laughs> got this in the exact same position so we do have the two here which is duality which like I said two cups that's a Pisces but you might also be getting duality through a Gemini a twin okay this may be part of your astrological chart as well but what's going on here is you are far too much in your mind you feel like you're trapped you're not trapped Libra take the blindfold off see people for who they are see people for what they bring to the table see yourself for things that you've done in the past so that you don't make that mistake again you don't have to dwell in it you simply have to write it down and say this is what I did and this is how I'm going to move forward with my new life path my new purpose whatever that is for you it might be a creative venture it might be in love it might be with the family it might be with your job okay but you have got to get out of I'm, I'm in prison I'm trapped I can't get out of this you can do whatever the heck you want Libra you can go out in the street ask any Libran and they'll tell you I can do whatever the heck I want <laughs> but when the rubber hits the road you guys get indecisive and then you go here you must stick with your intention 
move through it with every focus and every effort. You must not waver back and forth because when a Libran wavers, people lose faith in a Libran because Librans usually, for the most part, especially how they present themselves out into the world, they're the ones that are the judge and the jury. They make the decisions. So when you're not able to make a decision, it inhibits you from creating the life that you want to create. So just be aware of that. So what is your Archangel Guidance, Librans? Teaching and learning. I know, I've got chip nail polish, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have been very, very busy. Okay. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas, then teach these ideas to others. Librans, I'm telling you, and it was also during the astrological alignments, there is a piece of you that you have carried with you for your lifetime that you are going to see from a different perspective and here is your different perspective. And it might be related to relationships and passion in relationships. And when you look at things from this different perspective, you are going to learn something about yourself. You are going to learn something about others. You're going to learn something about the world, society as a whole. And once you learn that and and encapsulate that into your consciousness with awareness and mindfulness you are going to be able to teach others that same love that same compassion that same kindness so that is a beautiful beautiful message from the archangels for the next two months so what is your advice male power for the Libra males out there, um, you need to increase your testosterone, so hit the weights if you can. If you're not having back issues, try to hit the weights again. Uh, find uh, exercises that strengthen the back, okay? You might want to consider that as well. Uh, males out there, I'm, I'm going to tell you as advice, you got to get busy in the bedroom, okay? Because this is saying by you not being able to release, um, not that you can't in other ways, but I'm just saying with a partner, um, it's causing you to be, to feel like this, like you're trapped, like you can't get through it, okay? Get through the day or whatever. So just be aware of that. Also, if, if there are Libra males out there that have been a bit too feminine, bring back that testosterone, guys. You, you gotta bring it back in. You can't be a, a you know, a pansy. All right, bring it back in. You can do this. You know, there's a time for you. You're, what I'm sensing here is you're out of balance. You're going more towards the feminine and less towards the masculine. So you need to bring the masculine side back in and not be such a pushover. And it's just odd even saying that about a Libran. For the females out there, male power as an advice means you need to be the the um the box stops here okay you need to increase your testosterone you need to go out and, and lift weights increase those endorphins a little bit get a little bit more um uh, active as well okay intimately all right because you need to be you need to kind of put yourself as the in charge male person so um this will be interesting if you are married or are dating another Libran, <laughs> but um, but it's likely that uh, for some of you, you're not, and um, you're just going to have to play that role of the male in the relationship, okay? And it doesn't matter. When I speak of relationships, guys, it could be a homosexual, it could be a, a heterosexual relationship, guy, guy, girl, girl, whatever whatever relationship you're in take this message in the context that I give it okay so what is your challenge Librans spirit for some of you Librans out there with your challenge being spirit is that you are not in the mindful state to accept 
universal knowledge as a whole so that you are able to integrate it into your life as an everyday activity. So what does this mean? You're close-minded, Libran. You gotta open your mind. And, and I know a lot of you say, I am an open-minded Libran. That's fine. But there is something, and I know you can pick at least one thing in your life that you have a no access or access denied. I'm not changing my mind about this ever, 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 ever. Librans, it's time for you to have that wake-up call. All right? And it's right here in the teaching and the learning guidance from the angels. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Okay? All right, Librans, I hope that you like that reading. Um, I hope that it helped you out in some way. Again, this is a general reading. If you would like a little bit more of a rounded type of energy that you could be um, experiencing in the next two months, please listen to your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign. Also, if you hold a lot of planets in a specific sign. So if you've got four planets in Scorpio, then in your natal chart, then listen to Scorpio because you've got a lot of planetary activity going on in um, the sign of Scorpio and how that affects you as well. All right, so please just be aware of that. I send you much light, much love, and many blessings, my dear Librans. Namaste.